here with John Devine Jr., Columbia. Just uh, knocked out the number two seed, uh, Jake Silverstein. Take me through that match. Uh, I just believed that if I kept going at, kept going at him, kept going my match, which is in the first period when I wasn't going that pace, that's when he took me down. But once I started going that pace, I started making him more uncomfortable and keep pressuring him so his shots had to be less than perfect as usual. So it was easier to defend. There's one point where I see him walking back from going out of bounds. He looked like his gas tank was up and starting empty. Did you feel that at all? I didn't really consider his conditioning. All I knew is that I wanted to be back in the map first. Back oh, in the map first. Take me right through the end, the, the final scoring period. I knew that, I knew that because I wrestled him before, I would have trouble turning him on top. So if I did get into a favorable position where I could turn him, then obviously I would take advantage of that. But if it, be, if I, if it became that I was wasting energy pulling him down without scoring, then I knew I was just going to let him go. Perfect. Hey, listen, you're a junior. Congratulations. Semi-finals. All right. What would you do this year to get you to this point in this tournament? Just year-round, always working always knowing that the work will pay off if I just keep going. Perfect. Hey, congratulations. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? I would just like to thank everyone who supported me, my mom, my dad, my coach, my teammates, Trent Nadu and Michael Gaine, and obviously all of my coaches who have so much faith in me. Oh, hey, listen, congratulations. Semi-finals tomorrow. Good luck to you, and we'll see you on top of the podium. Thank you. NewYorkWrestlingNews.com. Thank you very much.